the main thing is uh, to have this interaction lasting for a long period of time and being very active between the modelers and the policy makers. We had, the, I mean, from a technical perspective, these, the models we have developed in the 90s uh, had the originality that they were focusing on the markets. So the market equilibrium, the prices of energy commodities is explicit. It's not just social planning. They are models that simulate that as much as possible the realistic behavior of actors and the outcome of markets. So this is straightforward for policymakers. They can understand. And um, the model can also show interesting things also for the short term. Because the policymakers often uh, look at the short term. And uh, if uh, the result for the short term is, uh, uh, has a meaning for them, or if it can be validated, this gives credit for longer term simulations. So this, so to say, realistic approach, also with a lot of details and a very large database, etc., um, you know, gives the possibility to use the model for the communication purposes. The second domain is a matter of, of persons and continuity. Uh, we had the chance with the Commission to work uh, since the 1990. We started 1990, the first energy outlooks with the Commission. And since then, we continue with them. So the results have become a sort of standard. They communicate with the governments. They, um, a lot of consultants use the results for other purposes. So it has been established as a main communication tool. It's not so much uh, that uh, the models provide any original results or something unknown. It's not a forecasting tool, not at all all that. It is uh, helping the policymakers to build the knowledge and to understand what are the true policy dilemma beyond the, that knowledge. And... Uh, that is, uh, depends on, on, on the humans, on the persons from both sides, and uh, also needs a long time to be established, to, to establish the confidence. So it's a complex issue, it's not just, you know, an idea of the modeling. Uh, the ideas are not sufficient, it's a matter of experience and, uh, and continuity. Modeling and integrated assessment modeling is a very important part of, of our work uh, inside the Commission and they enable us to try to understand very complex processes of the transformation of, of energy systems and, and transport systems. So they are a tool not to forecast uh, the future, but they are a tool to understand the implications or the potential implications of certain policy options of uh, design issues of things like the emission trading system and they are also a tool to communicate that kind of information and to enter into a dialogue with all kinds of stakeholders whether it's the member states or the European Parliament uh, or the industry the business community or NGOs so it, it is a tool that helps us on the first in first instance to understand um, the implications of certain policy options or po policy decisions but also a tool to dialogue them, to communicate them to the outside world so that there is a better common understanding of what uh, different um, policy choices mean. For that reason, we are actually having uh, inside my unit a team of, of 10 economists and we work together with a large part of the modeling community in Europe and even outside Europe. Because also on the international side, there's a, a strong need uh, to understand not only what are the implications in Europe uh, of uh, energy transformation, but even more so in, in developing countries, and also to enable a dialogue between different countries on these issues in a way that, in a, in a language that different people uh, across the world understand, so that they are talking uh, the same kind of, they're using the same kind of analysis to, to um, consider and to... Um, well, to analyze the, 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 the progress towards uh, low carbon transformation. So it is one way of um, trying to build bridges between, uh, between different countries and between different stakeholders to, um, to enhance the coordination.